Hey guys, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. This is E.G. Young for this. And uh, last time, we promised Melia here that we'd uh, help her with taking down the Dino Beast that killed all of her companions. Um, I did bring, what's his name, Ricky, into the party and uh, got him leveled up. And Ricky is actually a really good, uh, really good party member. He basically is like your thief of the party. He gets you a lot of items and raises your uh, item drop rate. Not only that, but he also has a lot of uh, stuff like burninate and freezinate and he can poison enemies and it's actually really good. Anyway, right, right now I am in front of what is remaining of Colony 6. And uh, I thought that we needed to talk to Juju in order to start this going on. But we need to talk to Otharon to get it started. Now, before you do this, you want to make sure that you are done with everything in the refugee camp. Like, uh side quest wise now there's only one side quest that I have that in the refugee camp that I have not yet done nor do I care to do because apparently the uh, not only the enemy rate is rare enemy spawn rate is rare but the item drop rate is equally as rare as the enemy spawn rate so <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. Yes. So I'm going to rebuild Colony Six. All right. So now, in order to actually get the refugees back from the refugee camp to Colony Six, we have to go and defeat a bunch of enemies on the bridge. Now, this, I'm actually going to make it look real easy, but when you this first opens up, you're probably not going to be as high a level as me. I'm Right now, I think I'm level 36. It's been a while since I've uh, looked, take a look at, taken a look at my levels. So, yeah. And, uh, I want to get Melia's and Ricky's affinity towards Dunban. I, I actually want to get their affinity up towards other characters as well, but uh, right now I want to get it up with Dunban so that I can actually de uh, get them some decent skills and stuff. Especially Dunban. Anyway, time to actually go and kill us some hawks or whatever these freaking monsters are. Yeah, level 30 black smoke ox. <laughs> Alright. I have to initiate the attack. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be joining in on the freaking party. Alright. Ah, there we go. I did get a brand new art for Dunban Haze. It increases your critical hit rate, uh, but at the exact same time it reduces aggro, which I guess could be a good thing. Because I, you might not want to get aggro towards Dunban, but in this group, even though Ricky has the most HP out of everybody, uh, Ricky does not necessarily have the best defense as well, as well, so I'd rather all the aggro be going towards Dunban. But, eh. Alright, one more of these guys. 
I'm still laughing at the fact that I have to initiate the attack. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, hey, now you just... Now we get more stuff. Okay. Holy good lord, they're starting to attack Gunban all at once. So much slowdown. Yeah, it's teams like this, both uh, Ricky and Melia, which they use a lot of ether attacks. This is where you start seeing slowdown in uh, the gameplay. So I. Come on, chain attack! How many times do I have to press the freaking button in order to get a chain attack? Poison everything! <laughs> so many treasure chests for me to open. This is like awesome. I love this. Good lord, Ricky. You are awesome in your treasure finding ability. Ah, this will give me tons of friggin' money. Because all this equipment that I'm getting is probably not going to be any good at all. Yay! Also, let's see... Did I get... Yeah, I gave Ricky a bunch of stuff. <laughs> he is the only thing that he has that he originally came with was the Nopon shoes. Uh, I gave him upgraded Nopon bottoms and Nopon gloves in order to actually get uh, gems on him. And then everything else is just different, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway. Time to head back and tell Atharon that it is okay for people to come through. I think it's Atharon that I have to talk to. If not, then I'll go talk to Juju. It's one of the two. Nope, not Atharon. Alright, Juju it is. Thank God for fast travel. <laughs> it would be so freaking so annoying just having to fast travel between points and stuff. Juju, where are you? There you are. You like changing your places on me. Yes, I did. Yeah. Alright, so like I said, if you have unfinished business, business in the refugee camp do not do this but since I only have one quest that I don't really care for let's go yay ooh experience up and AP up sweet uh, only problem with those is they take up a gem slot hmm and they only affect the character on which they are equipped on but yeah so now, in order to actually rebuild the colony, what we're going to have to do is, every time we want to, we go talk to Juju, and he'll just basically ask us for donations and stuff like that. Now, this is where a lot of rare items and a lot of your money is going to go if you decide to do Colony 6. Now... It's actually, it, if you get the colony up to, it's useful up until level 3, once you get the colony up to level 3, but if you get any, any higher than that, you're, it's, I don't know, time input versus, uh, holy crap quests. Alright, <laughs> right. uh, if you get stunk, stuck on 
what items to grab you can listen to hints from Juju I already looked up a freaking guide on the internet and uh, located the items that I need to grab I can upgrade the entire colony up to level one if I really wanted to I could take some more time and upgrade at least housing commerce and nature to level two but special I have to wait until I get to the next area yay so let's go ahead and spend all my hard-earned cash and drop it into colony six ungrateful bastards yay All right, so now that, yeah, like I said, all I really need is, <laughs> I don't have a lot of friggin' money. I am not gonna be able to, I thought I had a lot more money than what I did. Hmm. To be honest, I thought I had a lot more money than that. I might have to go sell off some stuff. Yee. Well, I do have a lot of items that I can go and sell, so... Alright. Alright. I don't even have enough for nature. <laughs> Good lord. Alright. Well. Hey, Olga. Can I grab a... Uh, can I get whatever you need done? So confusing. Say it in a way that Ricky can understand. What do you want? Ah, you used to be a chemist before. Hmm. What ingredients do you need? Sure. Chewy radish, red durians, and a serious anemone. I don't think we'll be getting those for a while, but maybe I have them? Yay, Hiropon! I do have the Chewy Radish. Okay. And the Red Durian. So that means the only thing I need... ...is... ...a serious anemone. In Colony 6? What? I thought I had that. Maybe I used it in my Collectopedia? No, it's an item that I haven't collected yet. Alright, whatever. Anyway, Gorman, what do you want? Yay! I'm Dundun's always ready to help sad peoples. <laughs> so, what's the problem, buddy? Oh, come on. Do you know how old Dunban is? Dunban is like in his mid 30s. Dude. I mean, granted, you, Gorman, are probably 70, 80, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Divine rock is placed upon the land. Strong and prosperous. Okay. Peak. Oh, this one. Ah, ah. Ah, I. You, no. There's two ways to do this. Uh, you can either defeat the monster standing guard, the level 90 monster, or you can go and try and get uh, some dynamite and get to the base of Spiral Rock and blast your way up. Yes, I do know about the vicious, mon the vicious monster. All right, so three stick of sticks of dynamite. Yeah, all right. We'll do that later. Let me see if I can find a uh, merchant. Hopefully there's one around in here somewhere. I did get commerce up, so I should be running into a freaking merchant. 
or not. <laughs> For the love of poo, give me a goddamn merchant. <gasps> Yoink! Alright, well... Closest merchant. Actually, closest merchant would be. I I don't know who would be the closest merchant. It's crapshoot either way. Maybe Colony Nine was the closest merchant. I have no idea. I need to sell stuff, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have more stuff for... Hang on. I want to see if I have a better weapon for Dunban. No, all of them are... Yes. Weaker. There's one that's better, but it only has one... Uh, one gem slot and I don't really care I want to keep all of my gem slots so if I could get a weapon for Dunbine that has three gem slots I'd be cooking oh and also more stuff and yes I did change all of my equipment except for Ryan before I rec started recording, so I don't care. Uh, also, if you... You might want to unequip all your... Um, uh, ether crystals, or ether gems from your equipment before you decide uh, before you go and sell them off because if you do you'll sell the equipment with the with the ether gems on it and trust me my first time through I've lost some pretty decent uh, gems because of that <laughs> because of that little mistake <laughs> And I, when I found out I did something like that, I cursed really loud. It was just like, what the... Oh, there's a shop there. Now you have a freaking shop. Yay. All right. All right, let's see. I just need one more ready coil. Bunch of that. Alright. Yay! We have trees. We can grow trees. Alright, and then special. What does special do anyway? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's special. It does whatever it wants to. Yay. Oh, you can now get collectibles there. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the collectibles that it generates because of this depends on the special level. And the higher the level, the more collectibles that you can get in Colony 6. Colony 6 is kind of sp as special when it comes to that. You can get any collectibles from anywhere in the game found in Colony 6 if you get a max special. Anyway, Ultra Small Reactor, that is used to actually... You take that to the Gem Crafter in Colony 9 and he'll go ahead and make you a portable Gem Crafter. So you don't have to keep warping back to Colony 9 in order to actually create uh, ether gems, which is actually really good. Alright, let me see if I have anything. I need Empress Beetle. I know where Empress Beetles are. They're in um, the 
frontier village. And Death Element and Sea Berries, both of those are in the Earth Sea. So we won't be able to do that until we get to the Earth Sea. Uh, Ready Coil is actually down in the mines underneath the colony. Uh, underneath Colony 6. And Bunny of Scent Wood is dropped by uh, Bunny is in the Satoral Marsh. So, sweet. That's all I really need. Cool. Well, um, what else was I going to do? Let's go ahead and warp back to Colony 9 and hand over this, uh, gem crafter or this whatever we just barely got yay yeah it's a quest I accidentally well I didn't accidentally pick it up, pick it up from him I picked it up because I wanted to do some gem crafting off screen and I didn't want to wait until I was on screen to pick it up and yeah, whatever whoopsie daisy Slide that there. That's not right. That goes here. I almost got it. Ta-da! All done. Mass-producing reactor is no longer a fanciful dream. I'm gonna let you have it. Now you can craft gems whenever, wherever you want. Although I wouldn't mind if you still come around just to chat. Yay! Mobile furnace. So in order to get to the mobile furnace, you just go to items, and you can craft gems right there from the menu, which is actually quite handy. Especially if you get later on in the game, you don't want to, you haven't found a landmark, or you're in an area where it won't let you warp until you do a certain quest or event or whatever, which those will get more more and more often. Alright, so, oop, not Colony 6. Ether Mine. So, next time, I th I'm thinking of going down here into the mines and actually see if I can locate those freaking dynamites that we were looking at getting. So, until that next time, this is Yi Tiong for this signing off, saying, keep things frosty.